of all the cities in the Philippines, I chose to live in beautiful Angeles City. In this vid, I'm going to tell you exactly why I decided on Angeles, as opposed to one of the 100 other great places to live in the Philippines. But in Angeles, I mean, we got bars, we got hooks, we got also regular girls, and we got cheap rent on apartments. But that aside, this vid is about mainly the reason why this regular guy wanted to live in the hook capital of the Philippines. I mean, I traveled around the entire country of the Philippines. Why did I choose to live in Angeles City? Sometimes I ask myself that question, but I'm going to tell you exactly why I did choose this city. You know, there is no perfect city in the Philippines. I mean, I had a lot of cities on my list of places I wanted to live. Some of them were Cebu and Tegbalaran, Cagayan de Oro, Dumaguete, Butuan, Ormoc, the suburbs of Manila, but I chose Angeles because I hate shopping around. And my good friend here in Angeles messaged me and told me that the unit next to his, his apartment, is available. And if I'd like it, and basically he made everything easy for me. He recommended the landlord and everything like that. that that's one thing about me. You know, I, I really hate shopping and comparing. Gotta think about apartment. I mean, you gotta think about the apartment quality, the interior, exterior, surrounding area of the apartment, general area of the apartment, the owner's payment terms, the rental price, if it comes with furniture and if the furniture is crap. I first started my apartment hunt in Cebu, specifically in Lapu-Lapu, and I saw three places, and uh, I like I like Lapu-Lapu. It's a very unique kind of city. However, I have a problem with my, sort of my heart connecting with logic. For example, everything on paper sounds great, but I just can't feel the place is my home. But let me talk about something important here when it comes to choosing a city to live in, okay? I have my own theory, and it's called the Ormoc Theory. Let me explain the Ormoc theory. I visited Ormoc City in Leyte. This was several months ago. I went there with a friend of mine. My friend was there for about five days. So he and I hung out every day in Ormoc for those five days, okay? Every day we hung out together. And I was planning to stay longer than he was. I, I, I was even looking at apartments. However, what happened was that while my friend was there with me in Ormoc, we, we did hang out all the time. And I felt that Ormoc was kind of like this hidden gem, like this hidden place to be that nobody knew about. It's like a hidden gem, you know? And it, it was like the perfect size. There was attention from girls, a nice boardwalk, very cheap rent. But then what happened was, you know, my buddy left and I was there in Ormoc all by myself. And suddenly Ormoc went from being like a fun place to live to being very boring. And I struggled to just make it through the day. So what I realized at that moment was that I need some kind of network in the city to live in. Now with Ormoc being a little uh, weak with the foreigners, it's probably not an easy place to build a network of, you know, like-minded peeps. Anyway, Ormoc got really boring really fast after my buddy left. And at that moment, I realized a network or a potential network is one of the most important parts of choosing any particular city that you're going to live in in the Philippines. So here in Angeles, I had my good friend, you know, my neighbor. And I got the regulars at Philly's Bar who I talk to whenever I see them around. Not really friends, but definitely a familiar people and friendly faces here in Angeles. Uh, there's also a lot of YouTubers here like CJ Abroad, Adrian, the shout out guy, Chubbs, uh, Mike and Arlen, Heidi and George, Kiki, a lot of other familiar uh, YouTuber peeps walking around. Now, let me note here that although a city may be boring at first, this can subside over a short period of time. You know, but you join a, you join a gym, you get a girlfriend, you know, which is easier to do when you live in that city you know, when it comes to a girlfriend, then if you're just visiting, I mean, girls with, with a head on their shoulder, like they know you're just traveling around for fun or if you live it there in that city and, and you're looking for something serious. But one lesson I learned in my life uh, with regard to moving around is that anywhere, like a big city, small town, nice apartment, crap apartment, whatever the situation is, it will feel like home after a few weeks. So let's move on uh, from the Ormoc theory.
My apartment in Angeles City is only about 7,500 a month, and it's right near Walking Street. Compare 7,500 to about 50,000 a month, what I was spending when I was living in hotels, traveling around. Now, I'll say exactly where I am you know, location-wise, like after six months, like when I take off, because I'll just be here for about six months. I'll probably find a replacement tenant from this channel because I don't know if I'll be responsible for getting rid of all my stuff or not. I don't know. I got a bed and fans and whatnot. I, uh, my neighbor, the guy who introduced me to the place, I think his door is always open because he's such a friendly guy. Hey buddy, how's it going? Pretty good. Very good, very good. Glad to hear it as always. Yeah. Oh, you were just watching, uh, he was just watching. Oh, here he is. What's on? This is Chubbs Dub C. Okay, the great Chubby Chubbs. Yes. And I've been watching him since uh, you've been kind of slacking lately. So yeah. I gotta give all my information for him. Uh, once you get back on, I'll definitely be watching. I mean, I'd rather just uh, like have the next tenant take it. I'm not going to like sell the stuff I bought. I mean, you know, I bought it for my comfort. I won't sell it uh, to the next tenant. You know, I just need someone to take it. It saves me the hassle of uh, having to get rid of it if the new tenant has his own furniture. So over time, you know, I've been coming to Angeles. It has improved tremendously. That is if an improvement means going from pissing into a bag to pissing into a toilet. Now, if you ever heard of Walking Street, it is the epicenter of Angeles. Let's call it the heart you know, that keeps Angeles alive. Now, it's interesting to note that it's being kept alive from the Korean tourists. Like, I wonder what it would look like today without the Korean tourists. Somehow, like, word spread in Korea about Angeles. In Korea, they call Angeles Clark for, for whatever reason. The reason it's popular with Koreans is that Koreans are, the Koreans are followers, right? Koreans are big on the network. Like, they follow the well-trodden well path. And in Angeles, the Koreans have an entire area that is dedicated to them. It's called Koreatown, I think it is, on Friendship. So this makes it easier for them to sort of visit and live here. I mean, there are even Korean companies selling condos to almost entirely Korean citizens in Angeles City. Now, the story behind Envy's and why it closed is like this. Like, the, well, the rumor is that there were too many ladyboys bothering the customers and the customers decided to go elsewhere. But I doubt that's true. Like what I heard from an inside source is that there were two or more owners and there was a conflict among them. On top of that, they had a large monthly overhead to maintain and they were maintaining it for years, but were simply unable to keep it going. Anyways, it will be interesting what uh, formerly Envy's turns out to be. But one side note is that You know, I thought Philly's Bar, like with the closing of Envy's, I thought Philly's Bar would now be very busy. Hey, my friend. You know why did Envy's close? Uh, bankrupt. Bankrupt? Yeah. No money? Money, but starting pandemic. Maybe the pandemic, yeah. it started to go down. Uh, There's many customers. Many customers, but the, the owner, I yeah. don't know, have a big problem like that. Damn, money problem. Okay, man. All right, man. All these envious customers now will head over to Phillies. And I thought, like, damn, man, like, this sucks. Like, because it's my favorite bar. I don't want it to be full every day that I can't even find a seat. But surprisingly, it doesn't seem that it worked out that way, which is kind of weird. Phillies actually seems even quieter than it did in the past, prior to Envy's closing. Very weird. I can't figure it out. What I heard was that there was a slowly a shift, it's kind of obvious, um, from Western foreigners declining and Koreans increasing. And if anyone has visited Philly's bar, it's really a Western guy style bar that there's really zero Koreans visiting Philly's bar. The Koreans have their own bars. But anyway, in my opinion, the day Philly's goes bankrupt is the day I stopped visiting Angeles. You know, many say that Walking Street is the heart of Angeles, but if you're anywhere near SM Clark on the weekends, you may reconsider that because it's an absolute madhouse in SM on the weekends. I mean, like, much busier than Walking Street ever is. I mean, they can't make enough SM malls in the Philippines. I mean, like, SM Clark is busier than Ayala Mall in Cebu on the weekends. It is a madhouse, and I avoid SM on, uh, and I avoid SM on the weekends. 
Because, I mean, geez, like you wait in line for an hour to buy a Dairy Queen ice cream. I mean, it's, it's not even worth it. Now, the good thing is that SM Clark has two Starbuckses, which is nice. However... Oh, you're very good to meet you, man. Nice to meet My you. My brother. Good to see you. <laughs> What's your name? John. 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 My plans are to live here in Angeles for six months and then get the hell out of Dodge. I was at a place in my life where I really, really, really desired a place of my own with my own like newly bought furniture i was sick of these freaking hotels with you know six thousand men slept in this bed before me you know uh anyway the one problem i made is that i kind of rushed like when i first saw this place like i like the room but i like i did not really like the area but you know i took it just because you know i really did not like sh i did not want to shop around so i signed a six month lease agreement with the owner which is better because i thought it was a one year lease so it's just six months which is good and then i got some brand new furniture for the place uh the most expensive was a bed that cost about eight thousand pesos the mattress and frame also there's other stuff like a fan kitchen stuff so everything total was about uh fifteen thousand pesos i think to get set up here I'm not getting an air con because it, it's, you know, it's the rainy season and um, it's cooler, you know, and I, I'll be here for the entirety of the rainy season. So due to that, you know, it won't be that hot. I mean, when I was staying in hotels every night, most of the time, like, I didn't even want to turn on the air con, but it was just kind of like one degree too hot. So I really just needed a fan. But because, you know, there, there are no fans in hotels. I wish they were. Um, if there were fans in the hotels, I wouldn't even have turned on the hotel aircon. But now that I have my own place here, you know, I choose to just have a fan with no aircon, at least for now. I mean, I'm not an, I'm not an anti aircon. Like whenever I find the place that I'm comfortable living long term, you know, I'll definitely put in an aircon. But um, anyways, uh, enough of that. More vids to come. This was just kind of an intro, letting peeps know what's happening. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you around town if you are here. And um, I'll be pumping out more vids. So I'll see you guys soon. They don't care. There's people here. There's people there. There's people there. There's me there. These people, it's midnight. It's midnight. These people are just going freaking crazy. They don't care. I mean, how, my question is, how can people just be this inconsiderate? It, how is it possible? Like, go to a fucking bar. Why are you here? Why are you keeping everybody awake? But you know, they're Filipino, okay? I'm a foreigner. It's just not a good idea to actually knock on the door and confront them. It's just not a good idea.